Welcome to the Divine Bow Beginning 93. This is going to be our weekend reading. A card popped out um, when I was shuffling off screen. So I'm going to go ahead and put that out. We have the Four of Wands, which is our first base card. We're going to get a few more base cards, see what's going on this weekend. That's going to take us over into the week, right? As well as you guys. If you're not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe to my channel. If you haven't given this video a thumbs up yet, please give this video a thumbs up. As well as our monthly readings from May 17th until May 31st are out and uploaded on my channel. Please take a look. If you like it, please give it a thumbs up. If you would like to just leave a comment, please leave a comment. Let's get into what is going on this weekend. Hmm, okay. I got a little elaborate story here, huh? Okay. So, let's go into it, right? We have, let me make sure y'all can see it. Y'all can see it. Let's get it popping. We have the Four of Wands. Looking for stability. I feel like some of you are going into that mindset of you're looking for something that's long term if it's not in a relationship it's in your personal life as well as a job um you could be looking for your own business something that's stable that will continue to keep the money flow just just keep you i want to say settled like so you can breathe, like to give you a little bit of air. The next card we have is the High Priestess, which showing you that maybe a situation that you were going through with someone else. Um, I feel like secrets are going to come out. Not all secrets are bad. Just something that you didn't know that was really going on is actually coming out. Which this is this situation you have manifest to you. You and them has manifest this situation. The next card we have is the Two of Cups. The two of Cups, two people coming together to bring their love together. This could be someone from your past that's coming back in, or it could be new love entering your life. Again, this is a collective message, so take what resonates, leave what doesn't. I'm picking up a few stories, so everything will not be tailored directly to you, but certain things are for you. Use your intuition and go with your gut instinct. The next card we have is the higher fence. So throughout this love, either someone's bringing you a higher commitment, which could be engagement to get married, or you're just looking for a higher commitment in this love. And at the end of it, what do we have? We have our Knight of Cups here. He is presenting you with this love. Or it could be, again, something that's emotional fulfillment for you as far as a job, a business, something that you're involved in. Okay, let's start off with the four of wands the four of wands on top of the four of wands we have the empress and on top of the empress we have things are moving forward right so the empress is you kind of sitting in in your truths nothing is false you're speaking your truths and you're owning up to the things you've done you maybe you're getting you're getting enlightened about some things that you didn't know really transpired the way they did. I want to say for some of you, I'm getting that. We have also the six of swords. The six of swords is things are moving forward. Even if you can't see this right now, things are moving forward. Someone is kind of coming out of hiding. I don't know. I just see someone like kind of behind a tree not trying to be seen someone is coming out of hiding this person could be spying on you from a distance either on social medias or no definitely that's the story that i'm picking up they're spying on you that to where you can't see them spying on you they want to be undetected they want to make sure that when they come in with this love is true love and that you are who you say you are the next card that fell out is the Knight of Swords. As soon as they saw that and seen that from you, now they're ready to rush in. They, they've gotten their things together. 
they've been working on what they said they were supposed to work on and they're just ready to fulfill this dream of theirs and yours we have the king of swords it's going to be communication coming through definitely for you um see now it goes into a different situation it could happen in the 3d but i feel as though for some of you this could be communication while you're sleeping or not if you're sleeping but communication through music and songs communication through signs that remind you of them to let you know that they're thinking of you and it's gonna move forward it's just right now could not be the right time for some of you the next part we have is the four of cups the four of cups is here to show you that when this person pop up really like i just see them popping up this person when they pop up Like I said, you're taking care of your business, but when they pop up, it's going to be a surprise. And they're here to give you that cup of love. When they pop up, it's, it's oh my goodness. Some of you are going to get engaged, definitely. I did not want to spoil that, but some of you are going to get engaged. And you're going to come out of this feeling of being left in a cold. Feeling left out, feeling like you don't have any communication. Because now they're here to present their love. They went through their darkest nights. They went through this karmic situation. Or a few situations. And now they understand that they're ready to come forward and bring this love to you. Okay, let's go into the High Priestess. situation is yours like I said take it as it resonates whatever is coming out you've been working hard to change it right you've been working hard for things to go a certain way you've been getting through these karmic debts you had to experience you and it could be this person because I do see a lot of cups here I see love I see source communication I see the four of wands which is growth which is movement which is taking action the next card you have is the hangman. So through you kind of seeing things on a one-sided street, now it's you looking at things on a two-way street. It's not just about what you want. Yeah, you're going after what you want, grant you that. But you're seeing it from their point of view. Everything that you thought was peaches, peaches and creams isn't peaches and creams, right? You ate a cups. You got out of bad situations where the situation didn't serve you at all. Okay? The situation wasn't for you. It could be you and them or you or them. But take it as it resonates. Eight of cups. Cutting things out that's negative, that doesn't serve you. Which led you into the hermit mode. Figuring out what was your, what was your next move. What, what are you doing? Because you were so tired of being stuck. That you were ready for this move. You was ready to take things to a different level. Through the divine. The divine was showing you the way. And through you. Through you charging forward. Through you taking this leap of faith. And believing that this is what you wanted. Wow. Now you go into who you really are. Last card out here is the empress. You know how Cardi B say, we making money moves. Yeah. Now you making those moves to build your own legacy. You're making these moves to build for a better future for generations behind you, for your children. Wow. I didn't see that one coming at all. For your children. Maybe you already have kids now. Or you're thinking about the future for them. But whatever you're doing, you got this. You got this mindset of the divine masculine. 
you're still nurturing, but you're you're you've balanced your divine feminine and the divine masculine within yourself. Now it's time to make these money moves. The person that you're thinking about, this is a love relationship, they showed up as a king, now they're the empress. They balanced out. They got their emotions in check. They could be having their they could be getting their finances completely in check to make these moves to where you two are able to come together. Like I said, someone's at a distance. If they're not at a distance, you guys haven't been speaking for a while. I feel like a reconciliation. Let's go into the magician. Let's see what the magician has to offer. Oh, so whatever you manifest, the celebration on it, right? Three of Cups. Two of Wands. Page of Swords. Uh-oh, hold on. You want to get this right. <clears throat> and then we have the Queen of Pentacles. So again, communication is definitely showing up strong. It's no specific time period of when it will get to you, but it's definitely here. We have you manifesting into this. You've probably been already seeing this abundance come in for you or this emotional fulfillment. Maybe you felt like your energy is, your energy is starting to shift. You could be making moves to travel with the two of, um, the two of wands. We have the Page of Swords here. Again, that's you cutting through all that BS. That's you getting everything that you deserve. You're taking it by the cojones. If you don't know what that is, it's the boss. But you're taking it and it's yours. You have the Queen of Pentacles. The Queen of Pentacles is, you already even seen abundance, but you're waiting for that big one to hit. Because you already sold your seeds. We have the seven of pentacles. So you're sitting still. Not only could you be sitting still for that. But you could be sitting still for this love. You're waiting for this love interest to come in to you. But before that happens. The moon has to show up. Things have to come out. Yes. You want this person to tell you sweet nothings. But at the same time. That, that information that you need to give you clarity. Is coming. You're going to get it. Let's go into this two of cups. We got these two lovers, right? Two of Cups. Three of Wands. Action. It's time to take action on what's, what you want. Now, if you, again, if you are the chaser, stop. And if they are the runner, give them that chance they need to come back to you. For some, take what resonates, leave again what doesn't. We have the Six of Cups here. So you're going through reminiscing about memories of probably when you guys first met, when you first saw each other. We have the lovers here, so it is definitely a reconciliation coming back. This is coming back full circle for you guys. Once it comes back into full circle, you're going to feel this moment of, I have to get away from you for a moment, so then you... In return, you become the runner. But it's not so much as you're running. It's... You just need a break. You, you, need a, you need a break. You need, like... You need to sit back within yourself and see, is this really still what you want? Because you've been making all these moves. Maybe this wasn't even in, in the plans for you to even think of while you were trying to make your business while you were trying to make your legacy you thought that you know you were thinking about that you needed someone a companion and you knew the person but you were trying to make things stick and be stable before you thought any further into this situation and another thing the reason why you could be going into this four swords is because use your throat chakra your, I believe it's the blue chakra. You have it. You know you have it. Use it. Because 
this is something that you need to get out. If you felt like when they left, you felt disconnected, you felt like this and that, let them know that. It's not time for you to back down. And I'm not saying go about it aggressively either. What I'm saying is go about it in a nice, peaceful, calm way. Like, I didn't like when you did this. I didn't like when you did that. Let's fix it. Let's move on. Right? Because after you come out of this little hiding situation, you go into the Six of Wands, which is celebration. So things move forward. Even when you thought that by you saying that to that person, that they weren't going to move forward. You thought that it could have been conflict. They're changed too, as well as you. But it's still definitely conflict around money. Okay? It's definitely still conflict around money with them. They're not going to show you that. But again, it's something that you you know and it's something that you are aware of but it could be you or them or both but have faith it will look up for you trust me we have the higher print here the fool fell out and the queen of wands so you're taking this leap of faith into love into your venture into your journey right well the fortune things are starting to spin in your favor now you got to weigh up some things like, okay, should this stay, should this go? You lay them burdens down. You got to finish laying them burdens down. You still got to continue. Once this come in for you, you still have to continue to go about your journey, right? Okay, let's see. Let's see. Let's get one more card on them burden or well, a few. Okay. So again, you could be going through legal situations. You could be in the courts higher commitment here or you could be going through a divorce and that could be what your ten of wands is but throughout all that if you're a male or a female you're coming out as the nine of pentacles you coming out on top honey yes excuse me for that yes <laughs> okay let's go into this knight of cups knight of cups on top of the knight of cups we got eight of wands and the eight of wands is communication coming through with justice is going I'm telling you it's going to change the whole situation. They looking for a higher commitment in you if you're looking for love. We have the king of wands. This is something that he's been working on as well as you. If it's a work if it's a work situation, just reverse it. This is something your boss been looking forward to to give to you. That cup is emotional fulfillment. It could be that job offer you've been looking for. If it's a love relationship, this person that you reconciling with, this person is the one for you. This is person is someone who's trying to make long long term goals with you. Judgment. You gotta have judgment. Both of you gotta lay it out on the line. This is what I want. This is not exactly like how I want it to go, but this is what I want. If you're willing to work on this with me, here we go. Because they are, honey. You got the nine of cups here. That one cup is right there. That one cup is right there. Pay attention to people who says they're going to do things and it doesn't really come through with action. If they're coming through with action, then, okay, you have the strength card. The strength card is a good card, right? You have your emotions. Are you ready to give it? Emotional fulfillment here, right? Let's see. Okay, and this is the last card, and I'm taking it, and we gone. The sun card. At the bottom of the deck, we have the ace of swords. Celebration through communication. If it's not communication about love, it's communication about this job that you're looking for. If it's not communication about this job, once this week is over, now this can go on until, I want to say until June, because I'm feeling like I'm a month. A little bit a month ahead so June probably by the end of June you'll start seeing if you don't see this part play out already well you will see this part play out and then by the end of June everything else pushes completely forward we in a new moon of Taurus 
in Gemini season, right? Happy birthday, Geminis. Happy end of your birthday, Taurus. I thank you guys for watching my weekend reading. If you're not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe to my channel. If you haven't given this video a thumbs up yet, please give this video a thumbs up. Make sure you check out my monthlies and everything else I post. Have a great weekend. Please don't do anything I wouldn't do. Have fun. Live life. Go out into nature. Breathe some fresh air. Have a great day.